Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you track material resources and how can you assign them on specific tasks. So for this purpose I created one very simple project with one task which is building the wall and notice that duration is three days. When I go to view and resource sheet you will see that I have John as a work material and uh, he cost me $100 per hour and material cost, which cost me $10 per, per piece. To see, see that it is piece in material, I will say pieces. Okay, so you need to measure. Okay, now how, to, first of all, how to assign, for example, John and 100, uh, 100 bricks for specific task wall. For here, if you go and if you assign from here John and Brick, you will see Brick is assigned and one as one piece. So this is not a good place to assign material resource except you have only one piece or one liter or one ton, so one for task. I will raise it and I will use resource tab and assign resources. And I will say, okay, I need John, assign him, and I need 100 bricks. For that, I will put here in units 100. This is not 100%, this is the number of bricks which I need for this specific task, which is building the wall. Assign, and you see, I have 100 pieces. One strange thing, to show you. So, if I go here now on view, on task usage view, you will see that John is supposed to work eight hours per day, but since I have 100 pieces in three days, they are distributed equally. So, what does it mean? It means that according to Microsoft Project, John will use 33.33 bricks at Monday, 33.33 uh, bricks at Tuesday, and the same amount at Wednesday. It doesn't make a sense, but it is how it is. For example, let me put here five days. You will see, since 100 is, can be divided, uh, uh, and uh, it is rounded, when you divide 100 pieces on five days, you will get that John should work eight hours per day, five days, and he will use 20 bricks per day. But if I put six, since 100 is not divided by, uh, it cannot be divided to get a whole number by number of days, so 100 divided by six is 16.67 uh, pieces per day. How? So let me go here and uh, let me uh, put uh, uh, that back in three days. So this is how much should be should be spent. How much? How how many bricks? Sorry, and not how much. How many? I am not a uh, native English speaker, so you will for, forgive me for mistakes. Okay, now we want to say that John finished his task on time and uh, uh, he spent 120 pieces or 80 pieces, let's say 80 pieces or 60, maybe 60, let's, let's put it 60. How can I do it? For John, you already know, I will go here and I will say, okay, tracking and I will say John spent 24 uh, hours, or I can say everything worked, was fine, and he finished 100%. Okay, but the task is not finished 100% yet. Why? Because, if you will go to Gantt chart, uh, because we didn't put how many bricks are spent. So, if we go here, and uh, to task usage, for example, and we put, let's say, cost, we will see that actual for bricks is zero. 
Why? We, because we didn't put how many, how many, ta how much task, how uh, 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 many bricks were spent. So let's go back here, and let's go to entry, for example. And I should repeat it once again. And I should go here, and I will say that actual we spend it, let's say, 60 bricks, and remaining is zero, okay? And everything is fine, but is it? Well, when I put 60, and I, uh, and I know that basically we have a 100, and it was supposed for John to spend 33.33 33 bricks per day, which didn't make a sense then, it, Microsoft Project calculates D60 by, and say, okay, 33.33 33 should be spent on task per day. Okay, so since you tell me, you told me that 60 bricks are spent and no brick is left, so it means that 33.33 is sp uh, has been spent on Monday, and the less uh, and the uh, and the uh, the rest 26.67 was spent on Tuesday. Well, I know what you did expect. You expected. Let me undo this. You expected when I put here, okay, here in track that. It was spent at 60 pieces, 60 pieces. And, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, not here, sorry, mistake here, that actual was spent 60 pieces and remaining is zero pieces. It means that, it, it means you expect it, that Microsoft Project will put, okay, since duration is three days, you spend 20, Pieces on Monday, 20 on Tuesday, 20 on Wednesday. Yes, you can expect that, but you will not get it. You will get what I told you. Now, let's say that, for example, uh, it, was, uh, it was five days duration. Okay, now let, let's go in Gantt chart. Let's say 0% in task is completed. And now, let's go here back in uh, task usage view, and let's say that, for example, sorry, in, ent in entry, let's put that building the wall was five days. Okay, now, now let's say that, jo that we spent, let's say, 80 bricks. What will we have? I will go here, and I will say, well, actually it's 80, don't be mislead with actual work. Actual work means actual pieces. It is not work. Since you are, uh, uh, we are tracking material resource, it means pieces. Okay, 80 pieces is actual, and remaining is zero. What will I have here? Okay, since 20 pieces was supposed to be spent on each and every day, it means that 20 pieces were spent on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but on Friday, it was nothing was spent. And if I go back here to John, and I, if I put, okay, John worked for uh, 40 hours, so he completed his work, you will get the result, which might be strange to you, but it is how it is. If someone will look at this task, he will interpret, interpret that like John has work, let's go back here and say actual work. So we will, uh, uh, you will see that John has worked eight hours on Monday for building a wall, on building a wall, and he spent 20 bricks. He worked eight hours on Tuesday, and, and he spent 20 bricks. He worked eight hours on Wednesday and Thursday, and he spent 20 weeks on Wednesday and Thursday. And he walk, worked eight hours at Friday with no bricks. It doesn't make a sense, but, but it is how actually Microsoft uh, project works. So basically, when you have more, less, uh, 
uh, material resource that it was planned when the actual is less than planned, those actuals and also planned will be spread among the days in which they can fit. So in my previous case, it was supposed on three days to be 33.33, but we have 60, so 33.33 was on, uh, uh, spent on first day, on second day the rest, and on Thursday nothing. Here we have uh, five days. It was supposed to uh, 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 spend one. It was supposed to spend 100 bricks per day, but since we have only, uh, we need we need only 80 bricks. It is not be like, for example, 80. Uh, divided by 5, which is 16, so we will, you will not have 16 here, 16 here, 16, 16, 16, but you will have 20 per day, so last day will be empty. And the, uh, it means that John didn't spend a single brick at Friday, which, well, doesn't make a sense, but it is how it is. So if you want to put that he spent 60, the only thing which you can do is put here 16, here 16, here 16, here 16, and here 16. And you will get 80. So if we go here to work table, you will get 80 pieces. But in that case, you put it manually. But if you want automatically, you will get what I showed you before, 20 pieces of bricks per day in four days. If you think this is complicated, wait for my next video in which I will show you what if we have more pieces than 80 or 100. So in next video, I will show you actual invariances with material resources uh, and this will be a part two. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.